everyone. Welcome to Think Academy. My name is Candy. I graduated from Columbia University. Today, we're going to discover a very interesting topic called chicken and rabbit. And this topic is actually our summer course at Think Academy. So it's chicken and rabbit. Everyone really loves it. So let's see how we can tackle this today. Okay, first let's read this question. As a third grader, it's very important at this point we're able to tackle and read some word problem. So there are three very important steps for reading the word problem. First, we're going to read the question sentence by sentence. And then we're going to circle out the important information. Lastly, we're able to draw them out and help us to visualize. Okay, are you ready to tackle the question? Let's get started. Here, let's first reading this question carefully. A total of eight chickens and rabbits are caged together. If there are 20 legs inside the cage, how many chickens and rabbits are in the cage respectively? Okay. First, like Candy ask you a question. How many legs for one chicken? There are two legs. How about one rabbit? How many legs for one rabbit? We'll have four legs for one rabbit, right? Okay, then how many more legs does one rabbit than to a chicken? That will be two legs because one rabbit has four, one chicken has two. So one rabbit has two more legs than one chicken. Okay, here, as reading the question, we know that a total of eight little chicken and rabbits are caged together, but I don't know how many for each. But I know on the floor there are 20 legs showing. So we are trying to figure out how many chicken and rabbits are in the cage respectively. There are two ways for tackling this question. First, let's be very organized and using our table method. So in the table method, I want to find out if how many chicken are there, how many rabbits are there, if with that many chicken and rabbit, how many total legs are in this cage? Okay, let's fill in each table. First, with the chicken, if I say there are eight chicken, then how many rabbits are there? That would be zero because we only have eight animals. If so, total legs in the cage, how can I count the total legs? I can just use a times two because each chicken has two legs. I have eight of them. So total, I will have 16 legs. Okay, do I have enough? No, because the question told me I need 20 legs. So what can I do? So that means some of the rabbits are also in this cage as well, right? Okay, so now I have seven chicken. I will have how many rabbits? I will have one rabbit. So total I have how many legs? Seven chicken. Each chicken has two legs plus one rabbit has how many legs? One rabbit has four legs. So total I have 18. Okay, do I have enough? No, I don't. So let's keep going. This time I have six chicken. How many rabbits? I'll have two rabbits. Therefore, I will have six chicken. Each chicken has two legs plus two rabbits. Each rabbit has four legs. So total 12 plus 8 give us 20. Okay, so now do I have enough? Yes, the question gave me 20 legs. I do have enough. Therefore, I have how many chicken and how many rabbits? 
We have six chickens and two rabbits in the cage. Okay, so table method help us organize this number very carefully. But there's always other ways of tackling the same math problem. Let's take a look. This time we're going to use the drawing method and make this super fun. First, can you tell me how many animals are there? We have total of eight animals in there. And each chicken and each rabbit has how many heads? Oh, they all have one head. So I have eight of them. So how many head do I need to draw? I need to draw eight head. Okay, let's draw. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have eight head. How about this time? I assume all of them, all eight animals are all chicken. Okay, so each chicken has how many legs? Each chicken has two legs. Okay, first, let's make them all chickens. With eight animals are chicken, how many total legs do I have right now? I have eight of them. Each of them are two legs. So total, I have 16 legs. Okay, I need how many legs? I need 20 legs, so I'm missing. I'm missing four legs, right? Okay, very good. Then, I'm missing four legs. Okay, I'm gonna do some magic. I'm going to change a chicken into rabbits. How can I do that? Okay, I can just physically upload two more legs for each chicken and turn them to a rabbit. First, okay, so one rabbit has how many legs? One rabbit has four legs. Okay, so I need how many more to make this chicken into a rabbit? I need two more, right? Okay, let's see. One, two. Okay, now this time, this chicken has become a rabbit. Okay, I need, now I have how many legs? Now I have 18, right? So how many more do I need? I need two more. Okay, so should I continue to plug in here? No, why not? Because here right now I have how many legs? I have six legs. Which animal has six legs? No, no, no. Okay, that must be a monster. Okay, so we can only do two more legs onto one chicken to turn them into a rabbit. Okay, then I'm going to changing the second chicken into a rabbit as well. So now, total I have how many legs? Total I have 20. Okay, so 16 plus four give us 20 legs. Okay, do I have enough? Yes, I do. Okay, so can you tell me how many chicken and how many rabbits are there? We're counting the four legs are my rabbits, right? Okay, rabbit, rabbit, chicken, 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 chicken. So total I have two rabbits and six chickens. Okay, so with the drawing method, we can first assume they're all chicken and we're missing four legs. That is because each rabbit has two more legs than a chicken. So some of them must be rabbit. And then we make up the two legs to turn the chicken into a rabbit to find out exactly how many rabbits and how many chickens are there. Okay, so as a third grader, it's very important that we're able to read all the information in the word problem and transfer them into table or drawing method. 
It's very important to visualize our problem to help us better solve it. That is very important because later on in a higher grade, we're going to make some formula and solving those questions. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed today's chicken and rabbit problem. We will have more to come, and I will looking forward to see you in my long-term course. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.